Hello YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to put some bearings on these wheels. So, you might remember that, like a week or two ago, I made a video about going to Lisbon to meet my friend Michael from Hong Kong. He was in Portugal and he got me a few presents. One of the presents that he got me was this. And what is this? Well, this is a bearing press. There's a few different bearing presses. I remember when I was young, I used to use one that is like a little machine, a little something that you press and then it cranks it and it just works. This is very, very portable. And the whole idea with this is that on a wheel like this, that it's an aluminum hub, usually it's very, very hard to put the bearings. Not everyone can do it. And the guys from Famous told me that the easiest way to do it is by putting the wheels in hot water and the bearings in the freezer. So I did that. is it's a lot easier it is a lot easier I still had to to hit it a little bit but not every time you have access to the hot water and attention you cannot use boiling water because using the boiling water might not be too good for the urethane and then you might have problems with the connection between the urethane and the aluminum up so use hot water not boiling water this is important okay but not every time you have access to the water and to the freezer and sometimes it's just on a run and just like imagine you go to winter class you want to put the wheels you just want to go out and skate really fast because you know the wheels are fast what you gonna do i heard of a lot of people that have been breaking bearings because they just hit it super hard man get one of these it's this one was just given to me the company that says here is rally r a double l why and check this out you can just go here it's really really easy basically i'm gonna get the bearings from an 80 millimeter wheel that i have here some micro wheels and some micro bearings usually i would use good bearings this is really important i'm using some twin cam bearings uh you want to use good bearings because i don't think it's that easy to take them out so i don't know how to take them out yet but here's the thing what you can do, you can just put one bearing in and press it. How do you press it? You saw it, nothing. Bearing, wheel, then there's a little spacer thing that it's going in the wheel and this is important because this is going to make sure that the bearing is coming in the right direction. And that's most of the times the problem with these wheels because most of the times, if the bearing goes a little bit sideways, it's more than enough not to get in perfectly. But even like that, check. Even like that, I can't pressure the whole thing. So now, I'll take it off again. It's a little bit of time, not too much. It's okay. Could be worse. Now I'm gonna take the whole thing out. At least you know that this bearing went the right way. Now I put the bearing again on the same position. You put the spacer, you end up putting the wheel now with the bearing to the other side. And now, let's do it. So now we're gonna go again, and we're gonna... And now it's gonna be a lot easier. 
And now, check this out. For all of you out there that have been trying <laughs> to put the bearings and just breaking bearings with your famous wheels, well, this might be the easiest way. Let me show you the setup that I'm building with these. These are not the 60 millimeter famous wheels. There's the Fast and the Furious. The Fast is the 60 millimeters and the Furious, I think that's it, huh? Fast and Furious? Maybe I'm saying it wrong, but I think the other ones are the Fast. These ones are the 64 millimeters and they are the Furious. I don't really see myself at the moment at least getting flat with 64s. So, I'm making a setup with anti-rocker 64s. Let me show you. Boom. M12s, UFS, black, ground controls, feather light, trees, the M12, like you saw it already, with the non-V-cut cuff, my feet, fat boy liners, all black look, golden hub, I might just paint it black. And now, all I gotta do is put the other bearings on this one, put it back in, and once I get two of these, I'll go out and skate. So, if you wanna see me skating these, well, you know what to do. Subscribe to this channel, make sure to like this, and leave me a comment, let me know what you wanna see on this channel too. If you didn't like it, you can leave me a thumbs down, but let me know what you didn't like it. I might try to change it for the next video. Other than that, just like I always say, don't forget why we all started skating, and that is because it's fun. Cheers, and see you soon. Now let me just put the other bearings. Thank you.